With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. A cylindrical vessel is filled with water up to a height of two meters. Stands on a horizontal plane. The side wall of a vessel is plugged. Circular hole touching the bottom. Find the minimum diameter of the hole so that the vessel begins to move on the floor if the plug is removed. The coefficient of friction between the bottom of the vessel and the plane is 0.4 and the total mass of water plus vessel is 100 kilograms. So the question is asking us to find out that what should be the diameter of the cylindrical vessel if the coefficient of friction is 0.4 and the plug is removed. Let the velocity of efflux through the hole which can be denoted by V is equals to under root of 2 into G into H where G is the gravitational acceleration and H is the height of the cylindrical vessel. Therefore, let us assume that rho is the density and A is the area of cross section of the hole. Therefore, the rate of momentum imparted on the vessel by the liquid coming out of the vessel is equals to rho multiplied by A multiplied by V and this is multiplied by V and using equation number 1 we can clearly write that this is equals to 2 gh multiplied by a into rho. Therefore, the force due to the velocity of efflux which can be denoted by f is equals to the rate of momentum and this is equals to 2 into g into h into a into rho from equation number 2. Therefore, the vessel will move if the force on the vessel is equal to the force of friction. Therefore, we can write that 2 multiplied by G into H into A into rho is equal to mu into M into G and therefore on rearranging this equation and substituting the values of G h rho and mu m and g we can write that a comes out to be 1 upon 100 and since we also know that area is given by the equation pi into r squared and therefore we can rearrange this equation as d is equals to 4a divided by pi under root where d is the diameter of the vessel and substituting the value of a from equation number 3 in this equation we find out that the diameter should be equals to 0.11 meters therefore this is the answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today